Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And in this video series, we're going to take a look at custom subassemblies for overlay and widening. This specific case came up actually uh, on site with a customer. So before we get into the details in Civil 3D, just uh, take a second to intro what we're trying to accomplish here. So if we take a look at the tool palettes, have docked over here and we go to the rehab tab. We have a lot of default rehab civil assemblies to choose from here. And one in particular is very useful called overlay widen match slope. I'm going to right click and go to help so we can see the picture here. So as you can see from the help file, this sub assembly basically drops two points wherever you specify either based on a width or a point control and it will compute the or find the elevation of an existing ground surface at that point and you have the option to make an overlay surface or an overlay structure here or not you can see you have a overlay here or none here and what it basically does is says okay I want this shoulder to match this computed slope so whatever slope is on this shoulder build up will automatically or will be derived from the two points specified here. And again, this point can be specified just by distance or we can have a saw cut line uh, point control predefined from the field. Okay, so the case that came up uh, uh, with the customer that uh, I was dealing with was, okay, well, we want this and this, but we want something between here. So we have a shoulder a uh, break and grade on the shoulder that we need to fill in with a wedge. So we're widening out past the shoulder and then we're going to add a new shoulder in on the end of that and it actually all needs to be the same slope of this computed slope. So we need to compute the slope, we need to put a wedge, triangular wedge, to fill in where an old shoulder used to be and that can also should have the option to be controlled by point control and then we tack on this shoulder structure or whichever one we'd like and we want it to grab that same calculated slope also. So it's a, basically a form of overlay widen match slope one is what we're trying to accomplish here. So the next series of videos, we're gonna do that. We're gonna build it in Subassembly Composer and we're gonna take it into Civil 3D, make sure it works correctly and actually take a look at deriving some volumetrics from that wedge that we're overlaying on the shoulder, for example. 